Hello, in this very short video, I'll be showing you how to color grade and achieve better skin tones for your studio images when it comes to Photoshop. And in case you like the video, simply make sure you like the video or you hit the like button on the video. And don't forget to subscribe. And for those interested in getting the raw image to practice and follow along, simply check the links in the description of this very video. So right now, this is the image that we want to color grade. So for this, I'll just correct the basic adjustments like contrast and lighting issues. So I'll simply come to our light options. So right here in the light options and take the highlights down just like that. And I'll basically do the same for the whites. Just like that. I'll open up the shadows slightly, take the blacks down and add some contrast to this very image or to this very photo. And after doing that, I'll simply slightly open up the exposure of this very image to around uh, 1.5, 0 0.1, 0.5, and I'll simply calm the temperature and slightly warm up the image to around 5,050 Kelvin. As you can see before, after we have not done so much to this very image. So next, we're just going to open the image in Photoshop to do the next step of color grading. So in Photoshop, we are basically going to, first of all, work with the skin tones or to work on the skin tones. So if you are to analyze this very image, you can see that we have different or varying colors in the skin. Regarding the skin tones, you can see yellows around here. We have some oranges around here. So we just want to create a uniform like skin color or skin tone. So you're going to come to the background layer, duplicate it by pressing Ctrl J or you can use Command J to create a copy from the background layer. And first of all, come to select and come to subject so that Photoshop can help us to select the outlines of the subject in this case. So for cases whereby the selection is not accurate, you can come and get the quick selection tool. Make sure it is on the add icon and you can add different areas to be part of the selection in this case. So right now we have uh, selected majority. So you're just going to refine the selection. So how to refine the selection, just come and click on the area that you want to add a given selection onto. So just come and add those areas, Control minus to ensure that each and every area regarding the highlights has been added to be part of the selection. So after, I'll simply come to the new layer icon and create a new empty layer, change its blend mode from normal to color, and come to the brushes, right click and get the brush tool, and for your settings, make sure it is a soft round brush. The mode is set to normal opacity and the flat 100%. So what are we going to do in this case? We're just going to sample color from the model skin. So how are we going to sample that color? We simply get the brush tool, hold down the option key on the keyboard for Mac. Then for Windows, this, hold down the alternate key on the keyboard. And as soon as you do that, you're going to see a color picker tool displaying in your Photoshop. So sample a color that you feel the skin should represent. So option and left click to sample a color. So just paint over the skin tones or the skin. So I'll increase on the size of the brush and simply paint over the skin. Don't mind if, in case this is showing uh, this oversaturated color because you're going to be perfecting that later on in this very tutorial. So let me just quickly paint because I don't want the tutorial to be the usual long kinds of tutorials on the channel. I know the attention span of most people is really low and the retention is very high sometimes. So I'll just come and paint. Like I said, for this step, we are basically trying to create even and uniform skin tones for our model or for our subject. So I'll paint on the skin just like that. So ensure that you have painted on each and every area that has or contains skin tones in the image or in the photo. So don't mind in case you do a mistake or whenever you make a mistake, you can always come back and correct that by using the eraser tool to rub away the effect from particular areas that you did not want to be affected in the first place. So I'll paint just like that. So this doesn't look like the skin tones that we want, but we're going to be correcting that in this tutorial, like I've told you. 
So after I have painted, it is time to refine the painting process by getting the eraser tool, the mod is set to brush opacity in the flat 100% and just come with the empty layer still selected, you are simply going to come and refine the area that you do not want paint in the first place like the eyes, some parts of uh, the model's lipstick or the lips. So to paint back color for areas that we did not paint in the first place, press B on the keyboard to select once again to the brush and you can paint using the brush in those areas. So now we have one issue. The skin tones are looking a little bit orange. So I'll erase the effect from that area of the shirt. The skin tone is now looking orange. So what are we going to do? Press Ctrl D or you can press Command D to deselect the active selection. Come the opacity, reduce on the opacity so that the effect can look natural and realistic. So we shall go with around 60, 61 is okay. So after doing that, we are just going to fine tune the skin color or skin tone. So just come to adjustments and create a hue and saturation adjustment layer. Come to master, select the reds, come to lightness and take down the lightness. And that is going to desaturate the oversaturated oranges regarding the skin tones. Come and create a black and white adjustment layer. Change the blend mode from normal to multiply. That is going to darken the overall image. So just come to the opacity and reduce on the effect in the image. So we shall go with around 10. 10 looks okay. So for cases whereby it is still looking oversaturated, we are going to be handling that later on. So let's first of all work on the background. I know this may be looking odd, but let's just try to do this. So we're going to come to adjustments and create a selective color adjustment layer. Come and target the whites. So when come to the whites, you are simply going to come to the cyan and play around with the cyan, just like this. Then we're going to also come to the yellows and play around with the yellow slider. So I feel like I just want to warm that up and I'll come to the cyan and I feel like this is okay. Then after that, you're just going to come and target our blacks and come to where you see science and take up the sun slider to around let's go with around six six is okay so in case the skin is still looking oversaturated you're just going to come and create another adjustment layer which is our beautiful photo filter then you're going to come and add a cooling filter 82 and reduce the it all the way down to around four or three percent so three is okay then create one final hue and saturation adjustment layer come and target the reds once again and take this down a little bit more then for the final process we are going to play around with the color balance so just come to color balance and for color balance we are going to come to the midtones first of all and play around with the midtones of this very image to around negative four by adding a tiny bit of science. And you're going to come and add a little bit of greens to the midtones, just a tiny bit. And slightly add some yellows to the midtones around negative one. I feel like that is okay. So next we're simply going to come to our highlights. And for the highlights, we're simply going to come and add a little bit of science to the highlights and add a little bit of greens. So this is what we have been able to achieve. So for cases whereby you want it to be a little bit intense, add one final black and white adjustment layer. And you can simply change it to multiply and reduce the opacity even a little bit more. So this is what we have been able to achieve. And to make it look even better or more dramatic, let's add some glow or shine to the skin. So you're simply going to come to the curves adjustment layer and come right here to this pointer, drag it towards the left hand side until when you feel like the highlights on the skin are overexposed or popping, then simply 
you can simply right click and come to blending options and it's going to open up the layer style dialog box come to blend if and set it to gray and come to underlying layer drag this dark pointer from the shadows until when you feel like the highlights on the skin are the only areas affected but this looks odd so hold down the option key on the keyboard or hold down the alternate key on the keyboard and split this right hand pointer for the effect to blend well into a skin then click ok click on this white layer mask press ctrl i or you can press command i with the brush tool selected make sure you have black and white on these two color swatches in case you have any other color apart from black and white you can reset by pressing d on the keyboard or left click on the tiny swatches so with white as the foreground color you can switch between black and red by using this arrow or you can press x on the keyboard so i'll just come and paint on what i feel should have the highlights in this very image just like that and you can see that this makes the image even look better before after so if it is too much come the opacity and reduce on the opacity to your liking so let's see the overall before and after for the color grading this is the image before after before after so this is how you can color grade and get better skin tones for your photos when it comes to photoshop and in case you have loved this don't forget to like the video and don't forget to subscribe if at all you have been watching and you are not a subscriber to this channel Ronix from Ronix Photography thank you for watching and I'll see you in yet more videos on this channel don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating